Welcome to Reformation and Revival Now. This video ministry is dedicated to bringing Reformation and Revival. But we've been teaching on the Lord's Prayer. So I'd like to say hello to Dalim and the disciples. In this particular video, we're going to see how all of this flows together. We're going to pray the Lord's Prayer, but it's going to be, as I said, a prayer outline. Now remember the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, those of you who have probably prayed that, many of you have probably even prayed that before. But Jesus didn't just give that to us to recite. He is saying that that is how our prayers should flow together. That's what our prayers should contain. So I'm going to pray the Lord's Prayer in the way I believe that is the reason why he gave the teaching, in other words. So we're going to flow together, and you get a chance to see my example and see how it runs together. All right. So I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be nonstop. I'm going to go right through it nonstop, so you have to follow me. Lord, I thank you for saving me and make me your child. Thank you, Lord, for taking such good care of me. Lord, may your name be lifted up and exalted. Oh, Lord. Sorry for that, guys. I lost my light. Just a second. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your holiness and your greatness. Lord, you are worthy of the highest praise. I lift up my hands to you, Lord. With my tears, Lord, I pour out my heart to you. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. I give you, Lord Jesus, all the acknowledgement. You are my Father, and you take good care of me. But, Lord, you need to know how wonderful you are and what a privilege it is to worship you and to serve you and to call upon your name. Lord, I call upon your name in worship. I bow down before you in praise. You are the great God, and I love you. And I give my love to you. Lord, bring the knowledge of Jesus Christ to every nation and people on the planet. Use me as your servant, Lord, so your kingdom can be accomplished in my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, open the eyes of my people, Lord God, in order to turn them from darkness from, of sin into the light of Jesus and from the power of Satan to the power of God so that they may receive eternal salvation and know the depths, Lord Jesus, of your love, of all those who put their trust in you. Lord, I ask you, Lord Jesus, and praise you, Lord Jesus, that you do meet all of my needs. I open my hands up, Lord God, to receive your daily supply. I praise you because you do meet all my needs according to heaven's economy and not my ability to produce it. I believe you gave me all sufficiency and provision for my life and for the people you've called me to serve. I seek you first, Lord, and walk in integrity and in righteousness, and all the things I need will be added to me. I praise you for that. Lord, please forgive me for the sins, Lord God, that you have revealed to me, and even for those things that I'm not aware of, Lord. Show me any place in my heart where I am harboring hurt or bitterness. No sin is secret with you, Lord Jesus. No sin is secret with you. So help me to be transparent about my spiritual condition. Lord Jesus, by your grace, I choose to forgive my brother or sister who have hurt me. For what they have done to me, Lord God, broke my heart, but I choose to forgive them. Your word says that if I confess my sins, you are faithful and just to forgive me of my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord Jesus, keep me in the path that you have ordained for me. Cause me not to be drawn away by my own desires, which can be strong at times, even desires that seem to be Christian. Help me to discern between what your will is and what my will is. Deliver me from worldly, sensual, and demonic traps of Satan. As you lead me in your plan, Lord, let holiness and love be the motivation of my heart. Jesus, this is your kingdom. I am your servant. My life is in your hand. Let everything, Lord God, I be do, everything I do, Lord, be for your honor 
and for your glory, because you are worthy of all praise. You are high and lifted up, and I, Lord Jesus, give my love to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, in just four minutes or so, we went through the Lord's Prayer and how it's really supposed to be. In other words, it's a prayer outline that the, the contents of what your prayer should have should be in this, in, in this way. And that's how the Lord laid it up. Praise and worship, praying the kingdom, your provision, forgiveness, which is relationship. Got to keep that uh, clear. And then asking the Lord to keep you from temptation, discernment, and then um, committing everything into his hands with praise and worship, ending with praise and worship again. So this is it. This is the Lord's Prayer outline. And I want to say thank you to those of you who have uh, participated. And those of you who are watching me on uh, uh, Reformation Revival now, uh, I hope you have enjoyed it too. I've taught this so many times and will continue to do so because it's just a handy dandy. Well, God bless you, and I will see you again. Dalam, just want to say uh, have a great day. Disciples, God bless you. Continue to do the work God's called you to do. And I'll see you. Well, Mama T will see you. There she is. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.